It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we've got the Vikings. Burner at wide receiver. No one's been busier this season as he currently paces the NFL in receptions. It's the Vikings and the Lions. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. It's all about divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season, and we've got a compelling one in store here, as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. But even with all the games we have broadcast together over the years, partner, it seems like every time we see some... The Vikings offense in the midst of a perfect season. They get their first possession here. And all eyes on this man, their star wide out. He'll have a hard time repeating those numbers over 200 yards receiving a week ago. But I think he's excited about the opportunity because he knows they're going to gear all the coverages to him. But he has the ability to find a way to get open. And you can't even totally describe it. You just watch it happen week in, week out. I can't wait to see how he goes about it in this game. If he goes back to back over 200, oh boy, look at him. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. You can script and diagram plays all you want, but no one really envisioned something like that happening this early in the game. How about that run to get things started? Didn't he win NFC Player of the Week last week? Yeah, he was on fire a week ago, and what a start to this one. He had no sign of him cooling down at all. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt. Sheds off the tackle. Oh, and now some space to operate. Touchdown, Vikings. Kareem Hunt with career touchdown number 96. He joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Vikings will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we... The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said when we mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset them a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one, and I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They are guarding against the upset. 97 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader and quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing, and let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real, and it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. Got to give him strong consideration for MVP talk. Off the play fake, Cousins. And his throw is incomplete. So, CD, here we are. You look at how well this offense has played all year, 16-0. Now, in most years, they'd be at home right now enjoying time off for their perfect season, getting ready for the postseason. But this is the decade of the 2020s, so that means 17 games are what's needed to get through a perfect season. Would a win here make them an all-timer for you? It would. It absolutely would. And I realize we're not comparing apples to apples because of the length of regular seasons. But if you think back to the 1972 Dolphins, they were 14 and 0 in the regular season. Three wins made them a Super Bowl champion, so they were 17 and 0 total. Imagine getting through 17 now, and then continuing on and winning the Super Bowl. They're an all-timer team already for me. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 37. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. 
Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. On the delay, here's Hunt. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Ten more there and another first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, You've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Solid catch there for a man who's been so brilliant this year. Worth pointing out, as we were talking about earlier, there has never in the 60-year history of the award been a pass catcher, tight end or wide receiver, that has taken home the MVP trophy. And the best receivers I've talked with, they know that stat, and it drives them crazy because they understand that without a quarterback, they don't make the plays that they make. But they also don't feel like they get enough credit for bailing out some of the... There's Hawkinson in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Vikings lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. They'll wind up getting just a yard at its second down. These two teams, you may remember, they met in Minnesota earlier in the year with the Vikings coming out victorious. So if they could win again here in Detroit, they'd pull off the season sweep. Second and nine from the 44. To throw is Cousins. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Henry. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. Pass the 20. Fop. Touchdown, Vikings. Kareem Hunt with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. And the Vikings now heading on to the field. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. A first down throw for Cousins. 
Henry's got it out on the left side. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Vikings. A big play there. Taking it in. And the Vikings are able to widen their lead here in this first half. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they design every play to score. I don't know how true that is. I mean, he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way to put it in there. And that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. And now out comes Minnesota. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Cousins on first down. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Cousins looks again for TJ Hawkinson, and he's got him again. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16, and another first down. And that's an important completion right there, because that's going to do it with that last pass. He eclipses Peyton Manning's all-time mark of 5,477 pass yards in a single season. And I think the engravers, they can get the MVP trophy ready. This has been a year for the ages as he stands alone in single-season passing. Meanwhile, Cousins throw taken in by Hawkinson here. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. It's all down to this. Week 18 of the NFL regular season. Lots to be decided, so let's get right to it. We'll begin up at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, and it's the Packers who are out in front in the second quarter. Aaron Jones with two touchdown runs. Next, we'll head east. It's on to Cincinnati as we check in on the Bengals at home at Paycor Stadium. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Cleveland Browns. Joe Burrow with three touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. The Buccaneers trying to gut this one out as it would be a good victory for them if they could get it.
Now the Vikings offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Play fake. Cousins. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. Short completion, just four yards. And now we've got a third and four. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. On third down, here's Hunt. Able to slither by. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. Kareem Hunt. Touchdown, Vikings. Kareem Hunt, 69 yards. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Third down, as a defender, all you're thinking about is getting off the field. How do you stop this last play? But if you don't wrap up when you tackle, and you play a back like this, all of a sudden he's taking it to the house, and now you're looking at each other wondering, what did we do wrong on that play? The Vikings ready to go again on offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. First down, here's Cousins. He's going to look downfield for Henry. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown! Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And CD, you know, sometimes you don't need those complicated game plans or the added wrinkles. I mean, last time you think about it, couldn't have been any simpler. One play, one pass, touchdown. I know those coaches put a lot of work into this game plan, but I don't think they mind possessions like that at all. They just saved those calls for this possession instead. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. This one brought in by Jefferson. 
burst by him near the 35. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. A give right side now to Hunt. Down the numbers. There he goes. Now he's loose again. Inside the 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Kareem Hunt, 64 yards. And the Vikings get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Now you talk about the dominating rushing performances that you and I have seen together. This has got to be right up there. His fourth touchdown run of the game and another long one to boot. And I don't need to ask for a witness because you're right here with me. We are watching this, and we're watching such a performance that it's demoralizing for anyone on defense. You know, it starts out, coaches screaming, tackle him, get him. And after that last touchdown, I bet it's pure silent. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. They just do get the playoff. Now Cousins got his man complete over the middle. It's Henry, and he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Kareem Hunt. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kareem Hunt with a milestone. Career touchdown number 100. Joining Curtis Martin and Franco Harris at the century mark as he continues to climb the all-time list. And the Vikings look poised to reach 17-0 as they add on to their lead. And the football going back to the Vikings offense. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now... People continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. 
That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. Dances by him. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. Kareem Hunt. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Kareem Hunt, 75 yards. And the Vikings continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Don't do us like that. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still first down. Now Cousins. He's going to look downfield for Henry. It got his man complete. Touchdown, Vikings. A great effort there. 71 yards. And the Vikings are pouring it on. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Minnesota and this one has gone pretty well to form they've come in had little problem thus far and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth here to throw and this complete to Henry over the middle still going and they are going to score again yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals another touchdown here in the fourth quarter and Charles I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week and partner you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams and that's been true today each side helping guide them to this late lead
time Minnesota's offense takes over possession, CD, I mean, they have just been scoring at will. It's been score after score after score. And a lot of times we use the term blowout for a lopsided ball game. And this has kind of gone past that. We're, I think we're in historic territory right now. You nailed it. Historic territory. Perfect phrase for what we are watching. If this were a movie, what kind of rating would we put on it? Who would you allow to watch what we're watching right now? Let's hope this one gets over fast because this game well decided a long time ago. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here's second and three. They'll run again with Hunt. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Hunt will try going up the middle. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Brings up second and three. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for the Vikings, they finish off a perfect regular season, 17-0. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they're going to kind of bottom out here to wrap up this very forgettable season at 3-14. And, and it's fair to say wholesale changes will be forthcoming in the very near future.